Hey y'all, and welcome to Politibrawl. My name is Brian, and Matt Walsh just obliterates this hopelessly woke biology student who doesn't even understand biology. This is a sad moment for our entire educational system, and Matt Walsh is here to correct her on pretty much everything. I thought you had some really good points, but I just wanted to ask you about um, hybrids and stuff because I'm here studying biology, and so we've learned a lot about genetic um, mutations and disorders and such, and there actually are hermaphrodite human beings where they have both ovaries and um, testicles. And oh, that, no. I have it right here. It's actually a medical condition called ovotesticular disorder. And there are also other genetic disorders where people are born with XXY, XY, or just X or just Y and such. Um, and while it may seem rare, there are hundreds of thousands of people born with this each year. And so going off of your fairy tale hybrid people, they do exist. And so I'm just wondering how that would play into your view of there being a spectrum of gender because- These are people who can get pregnant and also impregnate someone else? Um, yes. It, hermaphrodites, they have both no. ovaries no. and testes. No. Uh, they, 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 if, that, if such a person existed, that would certainly, um, I would not include that part of my next speech. But uh, <laughs> such a person does not exist. Now, it, intersex and, and it, now, the genetic deformities you're talking about obviously do exist. And I expected someone to bring that up in the, in the Q&A. I think it's a, it's, a, it's a fine point to bring up. Um, two things I would say to that. Number one, that actually has nothing to do with transgenderism because when we're talk if, if when we talk about transgender, we're talking specifically about intersex people, then we would just say intersex. But with transgender, most of the time, we're talking about men who, they don't have any deformity. They, they are just straight up men, clearly, um, and they are identifying as, woman, as a woman. So even if I agreed that what you're talking about is some sort of exception, that actually would have nothing to do with the transgender topic. But I don't think it is an exception because, as I said, I think a true uh, middle, you know, a true resident of the middle circle of the, of the Venn diagram would be someone who has the reproductive capabilities of both genders. And no one like that exists. I mean, to be, not to be crude, but there isn't anyone who can get themselves pregnant, right? Ugh, I hate dealing with this argument because I see it all the time. These people don't understand that there are such things as exceptions to the rule. The rule is the vast majority. The vast majority, 99 point, I'd, I'd say 99.4% of the human condition is either male or female. As a matter of fact, I don't even think it's the point, uh, 0.6. It's probably statistically lower than that. But this is one of the issues, uh, the, the mental issues of the left. They keep on looking for exceptions to the rule, and there's a good reason behind this. And remember, a lot of leftists truly believe they're doing good work and they're trying to help people. They are trying, but they're often failing. <laughs> hey y'all, this is a shout out to my friends over at Colonial Metals Group, where CEO Paul Stone and his expert associates fully understand the gravity of our current situation and want to protect your wealth backed by gold, silver, and other precious metals. Folks, we are in an era of record inflation. We have a Congress that won't stop spending and a president who doesn't even know what planet he's on. That's how bad the situation is and that's why I'm partnering with Colonial Metals Group. And if you have a first time account with these fine upstanding people, you will receive up to $7,500 worth of silver, a nice old safe to keep all the good stuff in. You will get Roth IRA accounts for free backed by gold and silver and insurance and warranty on these items for five years, all for free. So call the number below check or check out the link in the description and let CEO Paul Stone and his expert team help you now because your wealth might evaporate before your very eyes. Protect your wealth, protect your family, protect your future with Colonial Metals Group today. Now, back to regularly scheduled programming. Oh man, okay. This is a bad product of our education system. And it's not even, you know what? I'll take it a step further. This is a bad problem of our culture. Our education system does not directly teach people to believe like this, to act like this. No, no, no. Our education system is downstream of culture. The internet, 
plays a huge role in priming this chick for believing in these stupid things that she does. Okay? That, that is just the simple truth. This girl has probably gotten more of an education from Tumblr or Reddit. Maybe even Twitter. Or I, I doubt it's Facebook. It's kids aren't on Facebook anymore. But she has been given a terrible amount of stupid propaganda. And it mo mostly exists on Reddit. It mostly exists on Tumblr. Those are the two places that prime you to be effectively a, a, a functioning idiot. All right? Th those two social media spheres are cesspools for the left. And they prime people like this to go out there and try to stand up to Matt Walsh and, st and speak truth to power when all you're doing is showing how little you actually know. The whole point of going to college is to get a higher education and she clearly hasn't gotten one because she is not smart enough to understand that th these two things, while correlated, are not it's correlation, not causation. All right. The T's, the, the T movement isn't about a hermaphrodites. All right. They are not in the same category. They are in a completely different category because they're trying to literally change their gender. They are trying to go from male to female, uh, female to male. Now, I am not going to insult the T's. I, I'm going to do my best not to. Because it's not fair to them. These are people that more often than not have a mental disorder called body dysmorphia. And that's, that's tough to deal with. And this is where the left can actually be a force for good. But instead of offering med uh, mental health to these people, they're out there trying to tell you that you're the problem. You're the reason they're like this. You're the reason their lives are miserable. Because you lack understanding. No, I don't. It's not that I lack understanding or empathy. It's a logical block that a male cannot be a female. When your bones are in the dirt, an archaeologist, archeologi an archaeologist, oh boy, my stutter is really coming in here. An archaeologist can come along and tell by your pelvis whether you are male or female. They can tell with DNA samples whether you have two X chromosomes or an X and a Y chromosome. This is immutable. Ultimately, a lot of this it deals with basically fantasy, that you want to be something that you're not. This is like me dressing up as Luke Skywalker and trying to shoot down the Death Star. I can't actually do that in real life, mainly because the Death Star was, you know, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. But I can't live out my fantasies due to basic nature. Sure, you can cosplay all you want. If that helps you, more power to you. But don't force that on myself. Don't force that on others. Don't ramrod it down our throats and our media. That's what we are simply asking y'all to do. Because I, I, I tell you this, the left controls Hollywood. The left controls the education system. The left basically has built this creature here. Th this young woman who should be using basic logic to understand, you know, basic biology, but she can't because she has been primed. We are begging you to stop doing this. And eventually the begs are going to stop. And I don't want to see where that ends up. That is an ugly world that I don't want to live in. So please start understanding y'all. If there's anyone on the left that watches this channel and y'all on the right, make them understand this in the simplest terms possible. Just stop. Stop forcing this crap down our throats. Stop thinking that being the exception to the rule makes you a great person. It merely makes you an exception to the rule. It is much better for us to understand that a good food, that good good food, good family, and a warm fire are better for us than what the what social media and culture has been telling us. Tolkien was right. And you know, I think I'm gonna have to end it there. Folks, my name is Brian. Hope you enjoyed this segment here on Politibrawl. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you on the next one. And until then, y'all have a good one.